What's Gucci everyone? It's AJ here. And in this video, I wanted to talk about Swift documentation or a way to basically document your class or your methods and make it very easy to understand and make it readable, readable to the automatic documentation already done in Xcode. So just to reflect on what we already know, you can make a multi-line comment by starting it with a slash star star and ending it with a star backslash. And then you can do a single line comment with a slash slash beginning it. And then you can also do a triple slash for a documentation comment. Well, a multi-line comment will also be a documentation comment that will appear in the docs when you make them. And so to see if a method is documented in the, to put in the docs, you can option click the function header and then you can you get what do you think you have? So I have Lauren Ipsum, or whatever I change this to. Hello world. Okay? So that's pretty easy. I could write paragraphs of text right there, and it'd be pretty good. Okay? Something you can also do is you can specify for your methods your parameters. So in my documentation, I can also specify the parameters to Xtext. And you can do that by colon, param, colon, then I usually like to put two spaces and then what um, in this time is target and then you can put a few spaces and then this is the button passed in. And if I again I option click, I then get parameters and it says target, this is blah blah blah, target's a little bit highlighted. And you can do this for multi you can do this for as many parameters as you want. Uh, you usually want to do it for the parameters list in the function, but you can do, you know, param A adds a to x and then click it again boom so it's nicely spaced also if you want to say this function doesn't have a return statement but you can also have a returns colon returns sorry I have trouble seeing sometimes and then you can say returns and then you can say str a string you want or anything that you desire and then click it again and we have what it returns. Except I spelled returns wrong. And so when I option click this again, but it's not letting me do it at the current moment. There we go. When I put when I press click when I do a click now, it now has returns, parameters, and a comments. Also, optionally, I can do a few other things. Besides a general comment at the beginning, if I space in my documentation comments by two more spaces or a tab, if your tabs are two spaces, I can then make more of an in-depth comment. So I can make more of a code, codified comment. I'll show you what I mean by here is I'll make a math statement and you can do two plus two equals four. And if you can see now when I option clicked, it gave me this very highlighted two plus two equals four example. So if I really wanted to make an example of how to call this method or show some code documentation, I would indent it even more and then it would give it to me in this nice documented text, which is nice. Also something I can do is I can do a one line, a dash, and then say this is one, and I can do another dash, this is two. You can do dashes on separate lines. And then what that will do is that will give you bullet points, pretty cool. So you can then have bullet points in your code if you maybe wanted to specify when you should call this method. So it can make your documentation very readable with these inline texts, these general comments, the parameters, and returns. Well, guys, that's all for the video here today. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you can read everything. See you guys later, and have a great day. Have the best day of your lives.